I didn't think I was gonna make it. Thanks for that. I'm Sarah, by the way, Sarah Perkins. Was heading up a wildlife conservation team studying the wolves in the park, and then, well, we found these things. They're wolves, but not like anything I've seen before. The cult calls them judges. Bigger, stronger, tougher than the other species around here. The cult tried to force my team to help him. When we said no, they sicked those things on us. Eli and the Whitetails got me out. Been trying to pay them back ever since. I've got a theory on how to use the cult's formula to help us track these creatures. But all I'm working with is corpses. I need a live judge. I know it's a big ask, but I'm desperate. The cult's training him at an old youth camp called the Breakthrough. If you go, be careful. You'll be heading right past the lumber mill. The cult has it on lockdown. Do this for me, and I might be able to put something together that'll help you hunt these things. I'll meet you at the camp once it's clear. Every little bit helps. They deserve better. Hmm. Look at those shrubs. Pronghorns were feeding here recently. Name's Jess. Jess Black. Find me at the lumber mill. The cook's days are fucking numbered. Take a breather.
Thanks for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, don't sound so scary. But believe me, he's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down. But a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. If you're looking to hook up with the Whitetails, this could be your way in. And more importantly, you'd help put an evil motherfucker in the grave. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. Now we know some of the people end up in here. See that? That's his calling card. Innocent people burned alive. If Pete just swipes at me, I'm retiring. Goddamn cults grabbing everyone. They'll take you from your home, the bar, even church. It don't matter where you are. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an army. And anyone who can't or won't fight for it winds up dead. Cullen the herd, he calls it. Wholesale slaughter innocent people. Nobody believed it was happening because nobody wanted to believe. Jacob sees in charge out here. Give the better angle. All right, here I go. go, 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 go. Headshot, nice. Didn't see that coming. That could have been worse. Liberating some assets, huh? And then there's the one we're after. The cook. He's one of Jacob's favorites. The one who leads his purging. The cook's bought into all of Jacob's bullshit. This motherfucker's gonna get what he deserves. Locked up, though. Treats people like fucking animals. Keeping them in cages. Okay, let's do this. But keep your head down. They spot us, those hostages are dead. Okay, took him off the mountain. That's always fun. I don't 
You want to know why they call him the cook? A couple years back, Jacob sent one of his guys out to round up his family. Parents and kids. First thing they did was stop. Haven't felt like this is again. Gave them nothing. Not even a drop of water. After three days, they got so thirsty they had to drink their own piss. But the kids didn't want to do it. So the parents forced it down their throats. The kids puked it right back up. Cook didn't like that. So he went and strung the parents up on posts under the hot sun. Hold up. I think I heard something. I've heard a lot of fucked up things are happening in these mountains. Not a good spot. I'm on the move. Shot. Still alive. Well, they won't try that again. Jeff, Jess, you got family? Jess, you got family? Who really cares what happens to us? Jess, you got family? I'm big. Thanks, Deputy. Yes, you got family? Please help me. Yes, My husband. Family. The cook took him to the pit. He's gonna burn him. He's gonna burn him alive! Please. Oh, God. Thank you. Let's go. So the cook... He had the parents on posts and decided to give the kids a little water. And then he asked if they were hungry. The kids were starving, so they said yes. Started begging for food. The cook asked if they want pork. I heard of combat mascots. Kids said yes. Who's just pushing it? So he went out to the parents and took their shoes off and started to play. This little piggy went to market. And the blood the poured like machine. a damn faucet. Cook had a big old grin on his face as he offered each little piece to the kids.
Pretty soon there were no more piggies left. So he laughed and set the parents on fire. And the air filled up with that sickly sweet smell of roasted flesh. I'll never forget that smell. <coughs> when they finally stopped screaming, I looked around and he was just gone. Vanished like some sort of demon in the night. Anyways, that's why they call him the cook. Death than that piece of shit deserved. Killed one. You got it. Getting a better angle. Still breathing. What now, Jeff? I feel numb. Not like they need this anymore. Now what? Feel better. Dutch was right. Cook's dead, and I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy, and now I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Dutch has been right about a lot of shit lately. The cult, Eli. Maybe he's right about you too. You uh. Need someone to watch your back? Call me. And, uh... Thanks. For everything you've done. <laughs>